In the previous episode, Old Man tries to impress Jealousy by saying that he can hold against a demigod. But she knows that he's just bragging. Later, she warned Godzilla about the power of their opponents. At first, Godzilla took them lightly as he has the biggest, I mean, biggest body here. Jealousy then said him about those three superpowers. The stirred demigod, who consider himself a god in bed. The wild man with natural potential and a long and deadly. Old man. Godzilla heard the same thing that you all have heard. Ape Girl is eager to meet them, so as Samurai Wolf, as he's the most wild one here. But Godzilla is worried that if the trio enters into this secret realm, maybe they will overpopulate this realm. So, before that can be happened, he decides to launch a sneak attack. And as for the safety of the ladies, he decides to handle it alone. Samurai Wolf doesn't understand why he's not allowed. Deathbird knows that his strength has improved by a lot, but it's still like facing death. I was born in the deep sea, so deep sea combat is my style. He's not planning to face them head on, he will just going to use the sea for his own advantage and will drag them until Grandpa Joe comes to the rescue. In addition, he have a teleportation crystal and even he can use telepathy with his son to teleport. If there is a death threat, he will teleport back immediately. Jealousy wanted to go with him as two people can take care of each other. She can even transform into a deep sea submarine to assist him. He appreciates that, but he can do it better alone. Then he transform and ride it on a pterosaur's neck. He order everyone to wait until he gets them some news. His wife pray for his safety, while his son says him to teleport back quickly in case of danger. The scene shift, and we get to see many ships on the sea. As they are moving nearer to the island, they become more conscious and decides to expand the search radar. While this naked man is worried about Lee as he managed to escape back in Hwaxia Kingdom, it will be problematic if their demigods is still present in the Huaxia kingdom. They better need to hurry up their process. While this totem man feels relief around Lord Odin, that old guy is useless against him. While the necromancer reminds them about their real opponent, the behemoths of Ji Yuan Island. But as they are just a few brainless beasts, he can't wait to add those giant beasts into his undead army. Then they began to separate each warship in order to expand their search range. While Godzilla in underwater is waiting for his sneak attack. Godzilla noticed that their formation dispersed. He thought they have discovered him. But that's not possible as he dived so deep in order to avoid the range of their radar. As they came too near, so he launched his sneak attack. One of the ship crew shock. There's a giant red dot indicating some giant behemoth is reaching below them. Godzilla shoot out his explosive breath attack and easily destroyed two warship in single shot. The survivors shouts about enemy attack like if they can't see what's going on, while Godzilla's shadow appear below them. This Godzilla electrifying them and kills all of them. The body starts sinking under the water. Though the humans with flying ability still didn't manage to see Godzilla. But suddenly a giant mouth open and reach to devour them, Many of them get stuck between his teeth gap. Godzilla dive into the water again. The leader of three clan came out to find Godzilla. The demigod decides to battle with Godzilla. While inside the water, Godzilla says Kun to keep these corpses into his storage space and suck out their life source. Godzilla will use this supplements during his battle. Kun warn him about the surge of some energy. He feel it too, the power of demigods something which, emitting blinding lights, is rushing towards him. It's a spear-shaped condensed lightning attack. Only if he didn't have the attribute of thunder and lightning, the electric sparks around the electric spear would have electrified him to a crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. He's going to destroy few more battleship with his thunder shock. He condensed the thunder power on his spikes and launched an overpowered thunder attack on them. The attack not only destroyed some ships, also electrified all the nearby humans. Wild man order to set their fire on the target, while Odin order every of them to get out from his way. As he once again condense his lightning into a spear form, he can kill him even if he hide in the deep sea, because he's launching multiple spears. The shower of spears falls into the ocean, 
Godzilla swiftly tries to dodge them, but got penetrated by one. And thus, he died. On his last breath, he removed several life fruits and quickly devoured them all. He's little scared, as that person's one blow almost killed him. On time, Kuhn managed to extract some of their life essence. He quickly devoured the life essence and gains hundred thousands of evolution points. Fortunately, he have some evolution points. As long as all humans are not dead, he can fight by consuming them. Godzilla gets furious and transform in his lava form inside the water. He decides to have some boil humans for his launch. The water turns red, the humans surely receiving very painful death. When some of them doesn't understand what's going on, they thought, if there's a volcano about to erupt. The humans who were still on the water died in a painful way. Why Godzilla shoot out his lava breath vertically, which directly landed on the wild man body? He got injured and starts falling in the ocean. As he's falling, Godzilla move out from the water and wide open his mouth, he's ready to devour this triple S rank super being. But before that can happen, the wild man shows his bear, panther, and turtle spirit power. By merging with these three beasts, he landed a blow on Godzilla's cheek. The necromancer also shoot out some kind of black beam, while Odin also prepared a hundred inches spear for Godzilla. Demigod shoots his thing, same as the old man, shoot out his white substance. Godzilla gets panic, he can't handle a demigod along with two triple S level super beings. So he utilizes his teleportation crystal, and by displaying a kind of light show, gets teleported. Both the attack landed on the sea surface, but Godzilla is already vanished. The old man gets confused, while Odin is shocked, as this guy has teleportation ability. Godzilla actually mastered the power of light, lightning, fire, and space at the same time. He's astonished by Godzilla's power and decides to diminish such a beast from this world, while the necromancer thinks that Godzilla will become his trump card on his undead army. While Godzilla gets teleported in deep water, Godzilla gets excited on this ability. This is really a must-have artifact for escaping, but the battery ran out again so quickly, so he call out Kun to charge the crystal. Kun is excited as he smells money, and quickly deducted his one million evolution to charge this thing, but he will have to wait for half an hour to charge it completely. Godzilla gets furious even after spending so much of evolution points, he still have to wait for half an hour? He's already in a hurry to fight with those demigods. Kun take off his hand from his situation. He has no other choice but to wait at the bottom of the sea for half an hour. Godzilla gets worried as he already made them furious. If they can't find him, they will definitely continue to look for Jiyuan Island, and that will be troublesome for him. After making his mind, he decides to depend on his other skills, as he can't let them reach to the Jiyuan Island at any cost. Above the water, the survivors were trying to reach back to the ship. While many of them searching for that giant beast, they thought Godzilla ran away after witnessing the power of their demigods. While they were still waiting for Godzilla, as they expected him to come out from the water, suddenly the demigod sense catch on something. He recognized this ability and swiftly gets out from the range area. But the old necromancer gets trapped, along with many flying beings. They all stats falling down, even one side of the ship got under the range area and starts sinking. The old man stuck in this gravity barrier, while Godzilla once again tried to devour a triple S rank being. But this old man is still confident on his ability and starts summoning his little pet. Godzilla looks at his back. A black hole appear on his back, and a giant skeleton monster came out from it. It's a three-headed dragon. Godzilla freaks out. This dragon is bigger than him and most possible be a get one of the head bite on Godzilla's leg. Necromancer thinks this summon pet will be enough for him. All the three head bites Godzilla and starts dragging him into the water. While the Necromancer flies back to them, Odin asks about Godzilla. His summon bone dragon is playing with him. He wanted his bone dragon to drag Godzilla out of the sea so they can kill him together. Old man assure that his bone dragon can save their trouble but Odin is patience less and wanted to resolve this matter quickly. So he ordered the bone dragon to get out from the sea.
Godzilla is furious, although he's not a dog, but will bite his every bones, while two of them grabbing his legs and the other one is biting his tail. They starts dragging him out from the sea, so he can get killed by those three guys. But Godzilla doesn't allow that to be happened. He shoots out his explosive breath and shatters all the bones. As he said, he smashed all the bones on his body, but soon gets shocked. All the bones starts gathering and connecting with each other. And thus this boneless dragon resurrects again and ready to have some fun with Godzilla.